how do you keep track of where all these cables go? Yeah, I'll show you in this video using my phone. So I don't know about you, but I have a bunch of these patch cables. Not a lot, granted, but there's enough, and I don't know where they all go. So if I ever want to figure out where any of these lead to, what device, if I'm troubleshooting something, I have to go into the network control of Unify, and I have to um, figure out where the port goes, and then figure out what that cable is, etc., etc. And it's not terribly difficult when I only have like 20, but it could be easier. And luckily, Unify has a feature in the network controller app um, app on the phone, both Android and iOS, called AR, Augmented Reality. So in this video, I'm going to show you what that is and how it works. Now, it's not a new feature. It's been out a couple of years in various forms, mainly on iOS and then on Android second. Um, but it worked really well, and I thought it'd be worth just showing it in case you didn't know. Yeah. So, um, I have a... Dream Machine SE, which I did uh, convert only adopt, adopt, which I <laughs> migrated from my UDM Pro in a previous video, linked there. And then I have a four port um, switch as well. So I've got two different devices. And in order to use the AR, which is in the network app, and I'll show you in just a minute, you need to have the network app on your phone, iOS or Android. Uh, any modern version will do. It's been out so long that I doubt anyone would have an, an as old a version that it wouldn't work or wouldn't have the feature. And then you need Gen 2, I believe they're called, uh, devices or switches that have the little display. You can see there with the pretty colors and pretty little graphic. Um, and then that's pretty much it. That's what you need. Let me show you how it works. All right, so I'm about to open the network controller app. And uh, I just wanted to, to show you what happens on the actual devices. So as you can see now, there's this pretty graphic that's sort of floating around. Um, it actually has a function, not exactly the floating graphic, but let's see, have a look at this. As soon as I open up the network controller, these will change. There you go. See, they, they, re they register then the app is open on the phone, and they're sort of ready to go kind of thing. Now, if you're familiar with the network control on Android, you can see it, well, it's right here. You can, there's general stats, you can see your devices, you can see the clients that are on there, etc., etc. But on the front page here, on the dashboard, you can see that there's the general stats, but there's also a little tiny button called AR. So the, have a look what happens when I press on the AR on the physical devices, on the little screens there. So I'm gonna press AR, and then the devices or, or contacts the the controller and it knows there we go see how they changes and that is actually a unique pattern that is now on those that is used to identify devices so i'm going to have to keep i'm going to scan you can see my printer here in my books i'm going to scan the entire uh, rack as it's called there we go completely ready to go so it's noticed that they're there i then have to scan each individual uh device here so you can see i'm going to point the phone out of there we go so that's done the switch 24 port switch and then we're going to scan the udm se there we go shaky shaky hand come on let's see if we can stabilize it a bit yeah, sometimes it's a little bit tricky i'm not sure why there we go all right so now it knows see which is the primary 24 port switch, which is the name I've given it, and Merlewood UDMSE, it's also the name I've given it. So it's got my public IP address, my styling address, and it's got my internal IP for that switch. So it already knows what they are. And then there's a little overlay you can see here. Now, I've scanned all the devices I have, so I can click next. There we go. So now, it knows where they are, and it puts a little overlay, you see a little black box. So. I can switch between them just by moving the phone you know, up and down. It'll switch between them. So I want to look at the switch, and I can then scan over here. Look at this. And it puts the ports on them. And I can, you know, move the phone in closer, and it'll show me all the unified devices that are connected. So there's the garden camera. There's the Lego room access point. There's the media room, etc., etc. And it's pretty damn close to being perfectly overlaid. Like, it's really well done. So you can see here. 
So those uh, are not unified devices at the end there. That is why there is no uh, um, graphic that shows what it is. But there's another really cool feature. Of course, I can click up and down here so I can go between the two devices if I can't get it to do it automatically. And now I'm looking at the UDMS, UDMSE and you can see here there's a switch there that's uh, hooked up to that which actually is just up there. It's not completely accurate, but it's, uh, it's, not, it's not completely wrong either. So, a really cool feature that I like is, uh, apologies for the shakiness here, but I can click the little uh, looking glass here and I can search for a device. So say I, don't, I can't figure out where my, say, media room access point is. So I press on that and you see that goes bloop, bloop. It's like a beacon to where it is. So I can go over here and there is and it'll flash and it'll tell me exactly where it is. That is really, really cool feature. I really like that a lot. So I can say, yeah, I found it. I can uh, cancel that. There's a little um, settings menu here. You can remove the scan devices. So if you want to start over again, or you can just cancel it. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Makes it really easy to find any unified devices. Now I have heard some people say it works also with non-unified devices, like where's my printer attached or my you know, computer but I haven't managed to get that to work. So if you know how to get that to work, let me know in the comments. So that's really cool. But yeah, these pretty pictures here actually mean something. It's like a QR code almost that identifies each device on the Unify network. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah, excellent. So yeah, I hope you like that feature. I think it's really neat. As a tech nerd, I think it's a very cool feature, but you might be asking, what, what do I really need it for? And I gotta admit, it's a little bit gimmicky, but imagine you had like 20 racks or 10 racks with 20 switches in each, 48 port switches, like a lot, right? And you got to figure out where the wall plug for, you know, ABR-26-P is, right? You can actually then use the search feature if it is a unified sort of connected thing and you can find out where that is, where is that plug and it'll beam you to it makes it really quick to find out where a particular point is if you've named them correctly. Um, so that's a really, really useful feature for that. Um, I just like using it. I think it's neat. Um, I like how accurate it is. I think it's well done. But let me know in the comments. Do you use it? Do you want to use it? Would you use it? And um, anything else I've missed, let me know. And um, please subscribe if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. So I think that you need a particular version. Actually, that's rubbish. I'm not going to say that. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. All right.